this is a principle that was really reinforced to me when I learned how to use the speed bag. Like I went my whole pro fighting career without ever touching a speed bag. I thought it was nonsense. I thought it was silly junk training. And when, when I retired from fighting and started coaching full time, uh, new students would come into my gym and they would see a speed bag on the wall and they, they would say, how, Hey, how do you use that? And I would be like, um, this is embarrassing, but I don't actually know. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to learn the speed bag. And I'm, I'm so glad I did because there are so many practical applications to the speed bag that, uh, I've gained for, for fighting. Um, but I went to, I went to YouTube to look up some videos and, and guys were like, okay, you hit the speed bag like this. No, you hit the speed bag like that. But the most important video, I don't even remember the dude's name, but he looks like Kurt Vonnegut has like an Afro and, and um, it's a really old video. And he said, okay, I'm going to show you a, a basic speed bag pattern. Here's another one, but here's something even more important than the patterns. And that is practice this thing for 10 minutes every single day and do that consistently for three or four months. And that will equate to 10 hours of actual practice. Now, if you sit down right here, right now, and hammer out 10 hours in a row on the speed bag, you will not be any better at hour 10 than you will be at hour one. But if you spread that 10 hours out over three or four months and train consistently for 10 minutes a day, then you will look like a professional after three or four months. You'll look better than Rocky does in the Rocky movies, which really isn't that hard. It just takes consistency. And so I took him at his word and I realized that improvement does not come from repetition to repetition, it comes from sleep to sleep. There's so much wisdom in the method that he taught. Train consistently in manageable chunks each day and do that every day for a long period of time. And that will give you the magic power that you so desire, if you will, that will yield the results. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy what could be done in, um when you're just consistent at something, you know? And it's a funny thing too, because what you just said right there is really interesting in regards to if you do 10 hours of speed bag, whereas instead if you separate it like 10 minutes a day for, you know, X amount of time, you'll actually get better results. And I think that because I think that you have to be mindful when you do something. So when you do something, you have to do it. You have to make sure that you're doing it properly and then you have to like figure out what's the next step in your head so that you could you know continue to improve on that specific uh skill that you're trying to develop like that or that specific drill 